They're looking for a trap. They're trying to get him in a trap. Here's a guard forward trap. Abercrombie. Nice man shot. with authority. Now that's what you need to have out of your big man. Somebody that goes to the boards, takes advantage of a putback. That was a big time putback by Megan. The lead for Texas is four. This is Reggie Freeman. Got to get it in there to Gilmore. He's more, he's wired up. Let him have it while he's feeling good about himself. Oklahoma bench won a double dribble on Freeman there. Didn't get the call. Eight to go on the shot clock. Anderson on the penetration. Nice look to Rencher. Boy, that's his uh, that's his strength. Anderson's strength. Penetration to the basket. Got in the air. Found the open man. Almost six minutes gone by. First half. Guard forward trap. He split it. Foul coming up on Anderson on the reach in. Yeah, here's going to be the putback now. The shot's going to go up. And watch Maiden. Here he comes. Number four. Right up around the rim. Puts it away. Nice job. Good body control. Moments later, Roderick Anderson picked up his second personal foul. Five on Texas now. This is John Anches. Abercrombie high. Anches the open man. Good move. Well, he's got to take the shot when he's open, though, Wayne. He tried to pass off that yeah. time, and Freeman intercepted. Freeman for three. Abercrombie the rebound taken away by Rencher. No foul as Maiden took Boy, it down. Was, there was a real, some real body contact there, and I think what happened here is he might have lost his win, although he's hanging on to his arm. Yeah, Maiden collided with Rencher, and Rencher holding his left wrist. Coach Penders of Texas heads over. Yeah, Tommy's complaining about all the contact inside there. The action was so fast and things like this happened. We may be able to find out what happened here on the replay. Yeah, it looks like a wrist problem. Trainer over to have a look. Seventh all-time leading scorer in the Southwest Conference. And he's been red hot the last couple of games, shooting 60% from the field. Here we go, Wayne. Let's take a look and see if we can find this. Renger again took it away from Abercrombie, and there's Maiden coming over. Oof. And I didn't see where he got hit on the wrist there, but he may have when he fell to the ground. I mean, when he fell to the floor, he may have jammed that wrist. There was some body contact, there's no question. You just don't go back like that. See, he was up in the air. When you get bumped, you're automatically going to go the other way. Tommy Penders reports on for Texas in place of Terrence Wrencher. Here comes the trap. Abercrombie to Fowler. Fowler just reported in. Fowler can help him against this pressure. He's quick and good ball handler. Fowler for three. You have to hit that shot. The trap happened. They beat the trap with a good pass to the open man. He buried the shot. Second tray of the afternoon for Oklahoma. Reaching in, Ryan Miner gets called for the foul. His first and the fourth on the team. And you got a technical foul, Wayne. And it's a good call because players should not be reacting to what officials are doing out here the guy puts his hand on him 40 feet from the basket you're going to get that call you've got to relax and understand how the game's being called watch it again here there's the reach by minor the foul is called and here's the reaction you know a year ago maybe that wouldn't have been called but you're out there in front of everybody 30 feet from the basket and that's the new rule keep your hands off of them play smart and that won't happen Second technical foul called on Oklahoma here in the early going. And Brandy Perryman. Well, there's a lot of competitiveness in this game. Southwest Conference, Texas, Big 8 Oklahoma. Big battle here today. And Oklahoma's 8-0 here at home this year. They don't want to lose. There's a lot of energy. And uh, that's why you see things like that happen. Five-point lead for Texas now. There is Ryan Miner. Leads this team and the conference in scoring at 23 points a game. Wayne Larrabee, Steve Yoder from Lloyd Noble Center in Norman, Oklahoma. Good body movement here by Texas now. Don't be caught standing. Now they're back standing. That's because they wanted to penetrate. Penders. Up high for the rebound that time. Oklahoma back the other way. We've got a foul coming up on the drive by Fowler. Good. 
Coming up next on ABC Sports, it's the season premiere of ABC's Wide World of Sports. Figure skating's finest take to the ice as Olympic medalist Katarina Pitt, Christy Yamaguchi, and Midori Ito meet the, in the ladies' competition at the Fresh Look World Challenge of Champions, next here on ABC. Fouls on Brandy Perryman a moment ago. Perryman again with the body this time as Anshas got the step to the baseline. They're calling it tight, but that's a good move by Anshas uh, to take the ball to the basket because right now the officials are calling it tight. They're going to blow the whistle, so that's a good good move by a ball handling guard to do that. You got Wrencher back in the game as, as the wrist is taped, but he's back in there. Texas over the uh, foul limit, so a bonus situation for Oklahoma. John Anshas at the free throw line. You've been mentioning Anshas has been... Uh, and the rebound kept alive by Maiden, who knocked it out of bounds. He just missed. He had 15 in a row, I think, up to that uh, that miss. You mentioned that you like the dribble work by Anches against the full court pressure. Some coaches say that you should pass against pressure like that, but you prefer the well right now because that's John's strength. He's not he's not going to be passing around many of these guys that are much bigger than he is. Tried loose by Anches. He's got Fowler ahead. Fowler for two. Minor. Big Rejected play. by Gilmore. Fowler. Gilmore fries it loose to Wingfield. Gilmore's having a great game at both ends of the floor. Perryman. Three is there by Brandy Perryman. You want to let him stand and shoot, Wayne. He's a good one. One of the all-time great shooters in the history of Kansas high school basketball. Fowler out front. A little more patience now. Get the basketball centered. Get things set up. Fowler has the open pop. I'll tell you what, that's a great shot. And those are shots that I know that they're hoping they can get off their offense, but they've got to make them. Wrencher back in. Traveled here. Yeah, I think he got the extra step in that time. Trying to make a spin move. It just didn't get it done. Timeout on the floor. The Texas Longhorns lead the Oklahoma Sooners by eight. 11.29 to go in the half. Ryan Miner draws a crowd once again. A big Nate Gilmore gets up to take this one. Yeah, there's a big block, and then you're going to see the three-point shot at the other end. We're back to action. Curry. Miner for three. A oh, nice job by Curry finding Miner in the corner. Wide right open. Last year, Curry might have taken the tray himself on the other side without uh, looking for Miner. That's a good point, Wayne. Texas by five. Texas earned its first victory on enemy turf this season the other night at SMU. Freeman off the mark with that offering. Here comes Miner in Oklahoma. Got to be smart here now. Get things organized. This is Anchus. I don't think they wanted that. Anderson. Trying to get it to Rencher. Intercepted by Miner. They don't have the numbers now. Be smart. He's going to take it all away. Freeman back the other way for Texas. I know Kelvin doesn't want that. He wants the ball pass. Get it to your guard. Set this offense and get a good shot. UMass out in front of Temple. Number two, Connecticut will be playing later. How about that? One and two in the nation in New England. McIver, nicely done. The Boy, transfer out of Michigan. That was an excellent move by a post player. I'll tell you what, Texas's post play today has really been good. Halfway through first half. There's a the pressure guard to guard trap. Barnes spins away from it. Keep the ball moving. Anches on the penetration. Curry for three. Wrencher up high on the weak side. Well, I'll tell you what, if I'm Texas, I keep going inside as much success as they're having right now. Even though they've got them in a half-court game, keep using your inside players. McIver wow. slipped inside of Baden. Minor the rebound, and he was held. Yep, that was good. I like that, Wayne. I, I don't When you're having success inside, you've got the proper passing angles and the spacing's right. Get it inside and force the issue. 
A foul on the play on Rich McIver. First on him, eighth on the team. That's a lot of fouls with nine minutes to go in this half because pretty soon they're going to be shooting two on every foul. They're just two shots away from it. Texas by seven. 